When you hear the word Israel, what goes through your mind? Probably this image, or this, definitely this. So here are 68 facts you probably didn't know about Israel. Israel is a young country. How young? Just 68 years old. In nation years, that's like three years old, a mere baby. Israel's population is just 1.6% of the entire population in the Middle East and takes up only one-tenth of 1% of the region's area, which means it's tiny. Basically, you can cross the entire country in less than five hours from snow-covered Mount Hermon to the sizzling beaches of Elat. Israel is third in the world in the consumption of sweets and vegetables. Israel was the first country in the world to ban commercial starring underweight models. Israel has the highest number of academics per capita in the world and the highest proportion of startups and of museums as well. Tel Aviv is home to 80 thousand dogs that enjoy more than 60 dog parks. And the biggest dog cemetery dating back to ancient times was discovered in Israel in Ashkelon. <laughs> Speaking of ancient places, Jerusalem, one of the oldest cities in the world, is also the smartest one, as it was the first in the world to be completely covered by Wi-Fi, which you'll need to find one of the best hostels in the world, the Abraham Hostel in Jerusalem. Another ancient city is Be'er Sheva, 4,000 years old. Nowadays, it has the most chess masters per capita in the world. With all due respect to chess, the most popular beach sport in Israel, and probably its national sport, is matkot. There's no score, just the fun of ruining the quiet of the seashore. Books. Israel is number two in the world in book publishing. People of the book, remember? Wait, who's number one? At least we're in first place when it comes to translating literary masterpieces from foreign languages. The USB stick is an Israeli invention which saves us lots of storage space. Israel is among the 10 leading countries in life expectancy. Folks here live on average to the ripe old age of 83. Israel has 273 kilometers of beaches, hugging the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, the Dead Sea, and the Sea of Galilee, the lowest sweetwater lake in the world. According to the New Testament, Jesus walked on the water here. This rescue board is called a Hasekeh. It was invented here in the 19th 1930s by a Jewish lifeguard. If you have a problem staying above water, the Dead Sea is the place for you. The salt concentration there is so high, anyone can stay afloat. Israel is one of only eight countries that have sent a satellite into space. The busiest bird migration route in the world goes through Israel. A billion birds pass through here every year. According to Traveler's Digest, Tel Aviv is in the top 10 for cities with the world's most beautiful women. And yes, also among the top 10 when it comes to good-looking men. But women in Israel have much more to offer than just a pretty face. Israeli women also have more academic degrees than the men do. So if you are the next Mary Curie, this is the place for you. Not for nothing is Israel known as the startup nation. There are more than 3,000 high-tech companies and startups in Israel. That's the highest concentration in the world outside of Silicon Valley. So what was invented here? The technology that allows us to chat in WhatsApp, Messenger, and everything else you youngsters spend your time on. The world's first antivirus software, gesture-controlled and hands-free computers. Technology to prevent traffic accidents. Taxi service app, remember when you had to wave your hand for a taxi? <laughs> a social network that allows you to steer clear of traffic jams, a really small pill that can photograph your body from the inside. How does it get out? Solar energy water heater, irrigation system that conserves water, painless hair removal, well, almost painless, anti-jellyfish sting gel, laser keyboard, the technology that enabled unmanned flight, cherry tomatoes, and rummy cup, the popular board game. Crembo, chocolate-coated marshmallow treat. It may originally have been a Danish confection, but in the winter, Israelis eat more than 50 million Krembos. Bamba, a peanut-flavored snack created in Israel. On top of being popular and delicious, research has shown that it helps children build immunity to peanut allergy. And to continue with the yummy stuff, even though Italy is the birthplace of ice cream, consumption in Israel is 10 liters a year. Respect and brain freeze. Ice cream is all about the quality of the milk. Israeli cows are world champions in milk production. Since she's a champion, she's got an attitude. Tel Aviv is known as one of the vegan capitals of the world. Or how about some sushi? Tel Aviv is only second to Tokyo in sushi bars per square meter. Wine has been made here for more than 3,000 years. And even then, the local wine industry didn't win as many international awards as it does today. And speaking of prestigious awards, none is more prestigious than the Nobel, right? Nine Israelis have won the Nobel Prize in Sciences. The last one was Professor Dan Schechtman for the discovery of the quasi-periodic crystal. See if you can say five times really fast quasi-periodic crystal. Israel also grows flowers, lots of flowers. For last Valentine's Day, Israel shipped more than 60 million flowers to Europe. Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East. Israel is not a monarchy, but does have a queen. Her name is Dana International, and she's the first transgender to win the Eurovision contest. Time Out magazine has crowned Tel Aviv as gay capital of the Middle East. And speaking of divas, Lady Gaga's shoe designer is Israeli. They are indeed beautiful, but really difficult to walk in, especially if you're in Haifa and need to climb its green hills. 
For that, the shortest train line in the world was constructed to take you right to the top of Mount Carmel. And while we're in Haifa, did you know that it is the most multi-ethnic city in Israel? It has Jews, Christians, Muslims, both Sunnis and Shias, Druze and Baha'is. Did you know that Israel is the only place in the world where the number of trees increases year by year? Even with all these forests, 60% of Israel is desert, which didn't prevent us from turning the barren desert into productive farmland. A desert doesn't have much water, so Israel was forced to lead the world in desalination technologies. Israeli scientists developed treatments for multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and most important, discovered the cause of halitosis. Yes, yes, bad breath. Israelis are also not too shabby when it comes to sports. Maccabi Tel Aviv took the European Championship six times. In judo and windsurfing, Israel is an Olympic powerhouse. And if you're still not impressed, what would you say to the fact that the Emmy-winning series Homeland was written in Israel? Or that more than a million notes are stuffed into the Western Wall? every year. Where does God find the time to read them all? And, and Hebrew is such an ancient language that if a modern-day Israeli would meet his ancestor from 2,000 years ago, they would be able to carry on a conversation. <sighs> One more left? Well, all right. Have you heard of the Global Happiness Index? Neither had I until now. But apparently, Israelis are in the 11th spot out of 196 countries. And if that doesn't satisfy you, maybe you should find someone to talk to about it.